The Triple Crown neighborhood is known for luxury homes. It's not known for 911 calls like this. They busted our um, back door open and there's glass everywhere. Or nighttime burglary suspects caught on video. Is anybody home when it's happened? Yeah, my whole family and me. It's a very bold action, one that we typically don't see. Boone County Lieutenant Philip Ridgel says it's an unusually brazen crime for the area. The facts of the burglary are especially concerning given that the homeowners were inside of the residence sleeping. But a short time later, not far away, at this Motel 6, there was another 911 call. We have um, some deaths that are irate and destroying property. The two calls seemed unrelated, at least until they heard this. They threw stuff out the window from the third floor, and I believe that they may have robbed him with a car. Because it's credit cards and everything. Veteran Boone County Deputy Jacob Ganshirt was investigating both crimes and was talking to three teen suspects when 18 year old Jacob Scudder suddenly took off. Deputy Ganshirt gave chase but fell and broke a bone in his shoulder. It's unfortunate that he was injured, but he did a great job with quickly tying these two calls together. Deputies are now sorting through a long list of suspected stolen property that was recovered hoping to find the rightful owners. And Jacob Scudder, he was caught. Investigators say in the chaos, he ran face first into a telephone pole after a crime that also fell flat on his face. Now those two teenagers who didn't run are 16 and 17 years old. Meanwhile, the deputy has a pretty serious uh, shoulder injury. Uh, basically, it's his collarbone. They tell us that's gonna have to have surgery. Reporting live, Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5.